when you've done that, I want you down here again. Put them little plants in smaller pots. Makes them look bigger. Ah! Oh, God. Look at that. Yeah, I've got a book out. They have to be kept moist. Well, put some cardboard down to soak it all up. What's in this box? Well, the diver's watches you got from Mickey Cox. Well, get them up over there. Get them somewhere waterproof. Well, this book rings have to be kept warm as well. Shall I put the eating on? Certainly not. They're plants. They're used to living outside. But the mercy of the elements. Survive in the winter, dormant under the snow, ready to pop up in the spring. Well, yeah, but some of these are from Africa. Exactly. Where they have tornadoes and monsoons. <laughs> I don't know, Arthur. I mean, I don't know anything about plants. That's the beauty of it, Alan. You don't have to. You just pour water over them and let Mother Nature do the rest. But aren't you supposed to have greenhouses or something? <laughs> no, no, no. That is a very popular misconception. Now, you see, these are exhibition plants. They're specially bred to survive sudden changes in temperature. I mean, you'd be amazed how drafty it can get in them exhibition halls. People going in and out and leaving the doors open. They're a bit big, though. Take up a lot of space. Well, it's a growth industry, isn't it? I mean, you buy one for 30 quid, water it for a few weeks, watch your investment grow. Do you know it is better than the post office? 30 quid? Yeah, at a rough average. I mean, each one is assessed individually according to its size and leaf distribution. And every single one carries a full, no quibble, lifetime guarantee. A lifetime guarantee? For the lifetime of the plant in question. I know your luck will improve. <laughs> Don't worry. Just in house. Can I get back to you in a few minutes? Lewis, an unexpected pleasure. Thank you, Roger. Drink? No, thanks. I'm looking for Lorna. Pity. She left not ten minutes ago. Now, before you go, sit. I have something for you. I'm afraid it's more than last time. She's had a very bad run. And you stood by and watched while she lost this? Well, what could I do? You know the business, Lewis. <laughs> God, you were in it for long enough. If their credit's good. should come in more often, Lewis. Make the most of it, because there'll be no more. Has young Raymond been in? No, Arthur. But some bloke was here asking for you. Said he'd be back later. What sort of bloke? Official looking. Left a card. The Vat Man. That's all I need. Is that bad? Bad. The Vat Man is to the entrepreneur what Ronnie Corbett is to sumo wrestling. Here, mate. Eric! No, 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 no. Tell him the green fly are all part of the ecosystem. Yeah, they keep the caterpillars off. I want you back at the lockup within an hour. I may have another job for you. Tell her. Raymond's been held up, so I want you to take over his morning duties, Eric. All right, oh, Arthur. I mean, I can still handle myself. Indeed you can, Eric. That is a great comfort to me. Meanwhile, I want you to make some collections for me. Now, only speak to the people I've written down there and always go round the back. What is it I'm collecting in, Arthur? You just find those people and they'll sort you out. Right. Whenever you're ready, Eric. I'm ready when you are, Arthur. No, no, I don't think you understand. This is a one-man operation. But... 
All these places are up west. Mm. I thought you'd be giving me a lift. Oh, I've got to go to an important business meeting. You'll have to use the bus. But it's... Uh... Show me what you can do, Eric, and who knows where it may lead. The Daily Group are always on the lookout for bright, new, fresh talent. Say no more, Arthur. Oops! Mind the step, Eric. Mr. Nelson. I'm sorry, sir, but it's no smoking. Are you a member? Uh, not as such, no, but I believe I am expected. Oh, you find him over there, sir. He's working on his upper body. Care to? Uh, no, no, no. It's a bit early for me. Well, you've got to keep in shape, Arthur. Regular exercise. You said it was important. Yeah. It's not like it was, is it, Arthur? People today, they take liberties. How true, Lewis. How true. I blame the paperwork. We never had all that paperwork in our day. Good firm handshake. That's all you needed. That's exactly why I wanted to see you. Oh, yeah? So in my first car, remember? Indeed, I do. Broke down on the East India Dock Road, caused a three-mile tailback. Austerity, Lewis. You couldn't get the parts. I'm looking for someone with a sense of values. Moral fibre. So, what can I do for you? I hear you've got a new boy. Raymond. Teaching him all he knows. He any good? Top-notch, Lewis. Top-notch. Is he available? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think he is free at the moment. And I might have a job for him. That you, Arthur? Yeah. Oi, you only just got back. Well, I couldn't help it. I had a bit of hassle getting the dough. What sort of hassle? He said he thought the plant pots were included. Well, that's the trouble with everyone today. They all want something for nothing. Well, it's all right. I got it in the end. Good boy. Oi, Arthur, there's been a bloke in here for you. Yeah, he hung around for a bit. Bloke? Well, Mr Jenkins, VAT or something. He said he'd call back. You didn't let him in here, did you? Well, I didn't know who he was. Exactly. How many times have I told you you do not let anyone cross this threshold without stating his business first? Oh, I'm, I'm disappointed in you, Raymond. I'm sorry, Arthur. Do you want me to start on my collections? No, 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 no. I want you home, washed, changed, bags packed, back here in half an hour. Oh, come on. I said I was sorry. No, 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 no. You're going to the country for a few days. Hey. I need someone I can trust. Now, get a move on. I want you back here no later than 11. Right. Is this Lewis Nelson? A very old friend, so I want you on your very best behaviour. What's he do, though? Oh, he uh, started in rubbish, second-hand clothes. He is a man whom it can truly be said he went from rags to riches. Got a few clubs up west, got in with some very naughty people. That's when we parted company. And all I have to do is keep his old woman from the you... casino? Raymond, Mrs Nelson to you. And as for her weakness, think of your role as that of a financial consultant. Stop her from gambling. Not impress on her the folly of playing games of chance. Especially with her husband's money. Come on through, Arthur. Still kept the old place going, then? 
30 years this year. Well, it's good to have something solid behind you, isn't that right, Arthur? Absolutely, Lewis, absolutely. Uh, Lorne will join us when she's done the shopping. Oh, uh, can I uh, just uh, introduce Raymond? Good to meet you, Mr Nelson. You come very highly recommended, young man. He's younger than I thought. Don't be fooled by his boyish appearance. He's a veritable diamond. I'd trust him with my life. Family. Sorry I'm late, Lewis. Do you know I had to queue for half an hour just for a blouse? Arthur, I'd like you to meet my wife, Lorna. How do you do? Hello. Uh, and this is, um... Right. Are you, uh, Joe? Who the hell are you? Arthur sent me. Where's Ray? He's not coming. I'm Arthur's new man. We'll have to wait a minute. Come back in ten minutes and I'll leave him by the bin. Now, you behave yourself up here on your own. He'd live in that office if I wasn't here. Don't know why he doesn't let someone else do it. No, I'll be fine. I'll follow you down in a few days. Ray will take good care of you. Now, make sure you eat properly. None of that greasy muck you think I don't know about. Right, off you go. Call me when you get there, right? Ever driven an XJS, Ray? No. Now's your chance. Best thing that ever happened to me. <clears throat> oh, uh, Arthur, excuse me. Uh, I've got to make a quick phone call and then we'll have lunch. I'm going to take you to somewhere very special. Oh, right. Double eggs, bacon, sausage, beans, two slices of bread and butter, and a mug of tea. Uh, Arthur? Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll have the same. Um, um, just the one egg. Yeah, smell that. That's graft, that is. There's no smell like that anywhere in the world. Bacon, sarnies, and mugs of tea. Eh? Hey, I'm driving on, Mr Nelson! Hey, Tony, how are you? E pronto la cena per signor Nelson. See, Arthur? I promised you something special. You did? You did. Remember how we used to sit here every morning, meeting the lads from the market? I must have done more deals here than back at the factory. Great days, Lewis. Great days. Wow. It's having Lorna around that's made a difference. She makes me feel young again. <laughs> it's like I could do it all over again. Yeah, that lad. He'll take good care of her, eh? Oh, my lad will look after Lorna, don't worry. Have no fear. She's in very good hands. 
Oh, figuratively speaking, of course. Well, I'm sure she is. Well, that's why I came to you. Oh, which reminds me. We'll settle up with you. Oh, must you? Oh, well, you know best. There's 500 there. Very generous. Ah, Maria. Hope you enjoy your meal, boys. <laughs> What's going on, Roger? Nothing, it's fine. <sighs> yeah? Boss, I think you'd better get in quick. We've been hit. They're wasting time. Anyone who can get through this kind of security isn't about to leave their fingerprints all over the place. Whoever it was seemed to know their way around. Talk to the staff. Find out what they know. Well, the police are already... You talk to them. What time did you call this? They wouldn't let me on the bus. I had to walk back. It even cost me a quid for the trolley. Well, be that as it may, I've been expecting you for hours. Time is money, Eric. That is the first rule of business. I think I'll just stick to washing cars, Arthur. I'm happy as washing cars. I ain't got the head for big business. Nah, probably not. Did you get them all? I went everywhere on the list. Right. Hey, what do you like at adding up? Hey? Yeah. Um, no, look, stick them in the boot of my car. I'll drop them off at Ray's flat. Give him something to do when he gets back. Right, Arthur. Get back to the car lot. You've wasted enough time already. Right, Arthur. Want a drink? Um, uh, yeah, a wine or something. Red or white? Well, whatever you got. I'll have a red. Oh, will you open it? Sure. Show you around in a minute. Take you upstairs. It's okay, Dave. It's only me. Are you all right, Arthur? No, Dave. I am not all right. I've just had lunch at Daisy's diner. I'll never be able to look an egg in the face again. I thought she'd shut down. Nah. nah. She was just doing the place up. The good food guy threw a brick through the window. Do us a VAT, Dave. Take the taste away. I brought my own ingredients. Yeah, yeah. Funny you should say that, Arthur. What? Oh, well, it's a geezer in here looking for you from customs and excise. Jenkins, his name was. I'm being hounded, Dave. Pursued round the manor like a common criminal. It's despicable, Arthur. A respectable businessman like you. Persecution. That is the only word for it. I suppose you never thought about paying him. I don't know what came over me. Well, it's not as if I'm late. A little bit overdue, perhaps, but not late. Well, anyway, he did say he'd call back in half an hour. Well, if he does, tell him I've gone away on business and you don't know how to reach me. You going away, then? Yeah, I think I'll go to the country for a couple of days, Dave. Lie low for a bit. Incommunicado. Enley. Ray, can't we, um... Go out for a while. Yeah. Well, just for a while. I'll go mad cooped up in here. Yeah, don't see why not.
I thought perhaps we were going to town. Town? Well, just for a while. What for? <laughs> no way. But no one would know, and I am due for a win. No. Besides, you promised me a game of cards, remember? I thought you liked me. I do. Also like me job. Killjoy. Oh, I just have to get drunk instead, then. Or isn't that allowed, either? Make yourself at home. Sneaky. Look, I'm sorry, but you know I'm not supposed to let you out of my sight. Can't blame me for trying. No. I think I'll have that drink after all. No ice. I'll get it. Ah! What's up? Someone out there at the window. If you're winding me up. No, really, I saw him. Right, don't move. Ah, oh, Raymond, what are you doing here? Lorna. Small token of my esteem. I hope my boy's taking good care of you. Well, um, yes, but what are you doing here? They're all part of the service, my dear. Spot check, as it were. Just making sure that everything's proceeding according to plan. Oh, how very convivial. Oh, um, would you like a drink? Oh, uh, well, yeah, perhaps a small brandy to fight off the cold. You never told me you were coming down. Oh, that is the key to a spot check, the element of surprise. That way, you get a true picture of the situation. Well, everything's fine. Yeah, she's great. I hope you haven't succumbed to any unnatural urges, Raymond. Oh, thank you very much. What a very nice room. Will you be staying? Oh, no, no, no. I couldn't possibly impose. Well, if you're sure. Oh, well, if you put it like that. Perhaps a recharging of the batteries far from the maddening crowd wouldn't come amiss. Thank you, Lorna. Perhaps uh, just for a day or two. You're very good health. What's the time? Relax, will you? Your shift ended at ten. You'll be out in a minute. Lewis had this bit built on just after we moved in. Oh, yes. Oh, nice table. Well, that's Lewis's game. This is mine. Place your bets, please, gentlemen. Fourteen red. I won again. I can't <laughs> believe it. Did you tread on something in the way? No, no, Raymond. You're making a great mistake if you think this is all chance. It's a game of strategy planning, coordination of eye to hand, placing your tiddlywinks in accordance with the ebbs and flows of the will, losing your ebb when all about are keeping theirs. It does look like you're a natural, Mr. Daly. Oh, Arthur, please. And then you, you, you're not the first person to point that out, Lorna. I have been known to show a certain aptitude when the stakes are high. So how much has he won then? Well, at last count. £265,000. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter of a million in tiddlywinks, Arthur. That must be a record. Now, if you were paying for real, Arthur, you'd be a very rich man. Wait! That's it! I, I might not be able to go to the casino, but, but Arthur can. Me? Well, you could play for me. No, 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 absolutely not, Lorna. I gave Lewis my word. I would protect you against yourself at all costs. Oh, but it's brilliant. I could stake you. We could split the winnings. Um. And you'd still be keeping your word to Lewis, because I'd be here with Ray. No, no, no. My word is my bond. We shook hands. 50-50. Arthur, right down the middle. And if you do as well as you've done today, well... Just think about it. Uh, and and I, I would be using your money. Arthur?
Are you sure about this, Arthur? Look, it's a purely financial arrangement between two consenting adults. And as Lorna says, you being here with her fulfills our contract with Lewis. Yeah, I suppose so. You've got to put your own bum on the seat of life, Ray. The floor of the job centre is littered with missed opportunities. Yes, Arthur. Speaking of which, go to the car. Something to keep you busy till I get back. Eh? Them playing cards you should have picked up this morning. Make them up in the packs. I've got a punt waiting for them. How does it fit? Like a glove. Lewis and I have the same physical attributes, the, the broad shoulders and the slightly forward waist. Good. Now, don't forget, you see Pete on the door. I've arranged for him to sign you in and um, everything is done for you. It's a little system I've been working on. System? All you have to do is follow it exactly, working the odds and evens. Odds and... Look, it's really simple. All you have to do is write down from one to four in a line. You bet five pounds on either odd or even. If you lose, you just add another number to the end of the line, then you add up the first and last numbers, and that gives you your next stake. Add the first... Add, 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 add the first... No, never mind. It's all down here. And, um, front door key. Well, uh, all we need now is, um... <coughs> oh, yes. should do for a start. Go get her, Martha. If his foot slips, I will just break your legs. It'll crush him. I'll never heal. I told you I'd die learning you had any money. You were seen. Where's the money? What money? The money on me. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe if I gave it another inch. Nah, just frighten him, that's what a man said. I'd say he was well frightened, wouldn't you? I'm starting to lose my patience. Now, where's the sodding money? I don't know, I swear! So what were you doing in the alley? Dropping off a sack of cards. What cards? The cards from the casino. We're supposed to cut them up after they've been used. Stop the punters getting older. I'm listening. This bloke, he pays me for them. Bundles them back in packs, sells them on. This bloke? Got a name, has he? I've only met him once. Sends one of his lads round. His name! Selling cards to some bloke. And the money? The man who's buying, who is it? Some cheap chiseler. Well, then find him. Chips, please. Colour, sir? Uh, whatever. Green? Uh, yeah, fine. Five pounds. Uh, no, 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 all of it. It's five pounds of chips, sir. Place Very reasonable. 200, 300, 400, 500, money off the table, colour going out at five, thank you, place your bets please. Two's company. No more bets now. Sixteen red. I'm normally very lucky. No more bets. Maybe if you went on top this time. Do I like anything? Coffee, soft drink? Yeah, could I have a coffee, please, miss? Oh. I'd like some mineral water, please. Place your bets, please. Put that on even for me.
I suppose you think I took advantage of Arthur, don't you? Sending him off to the casino. Do you always get your own way in the end? Mostly. So what now? Could be a long way. What did you have in mind? On the other hand, he could lose and be back any minute. True. And you are a married woman. Also true. In which case? How about a game of cards? You're on. I've got some somewhere. Now, don't worry. I bought my own. What? <laughs> Think that'll be enough? Half a bought He hates to think I might get bored. Well, come and help me sort a pack out, and I'll challenge you a game of poker. All right. What do you want, red or blue? Red. Right. I should warn you, I am very good. Lewis taught me. You're kidding. Oh, I wish I was. That's how this whole thing started. And then he fell out with his partner at Lucky Jack's, and now he doesn't like me to go in there anymore. So why not use a different casino? I'm at Carlos, and I'll make. Besides, it gives me unlimited credit. No, and Lewis will pick up the tab, eh? I do win sometimes, you know. 32 red. Money change. No more red. 200 pounds. Place your bets, please. No more bets now. Two black. Your bets now, please. No more bets. you been? I nearly came looking for you. I've been fighting the forces of fortune, my son. Sure. He's asleep. Oh. Risking my all on the roll of the dice, the turn of the card. So what happened? Well... Oh, I Arthur, see. you're back. Yeah. How did you get on? Well, I started slowly, familiarising myself with the opposition, so to speak. Lulling them into a sense of false security, you know. And then wallop. I hit them with my masterstroke. And? 925 quid. Arthur! That is £212.50 p profit each, my dear. I worked it out in the car. Oh, of course. Oh, 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 don't worry. I took the liberty of deducting my wedge in transit. Oh, and did you stick to my system? Oh, uh, your system? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, I, I had to modify it slightly, you know, um, uh, adapt it a bit to uh, counterbalance changing fortunes. 400 quid, eh? Not bad for a night's work. This is just the start. There's no stopping us now, eh, Arthur? <laughs> Did you find him? Not exactly, no. So? We know where he is. He's well known around the manor. What are you waiting for, then? Well, he's an old mate of yours. Old mate of mine? Yeah. Half a daily. I think if we double the stake tonight, or... Morning. Morning, Ray. Morning. Even Excuse treble me. it, maybe. And we can really start turning the screw. 
Um, we, we will be continuing with our uh, original agreement. Of course, Arthur. We're partners. Now, if we increase the stake and maybe even switch from odds and evens to reds and blacks. <laughs> Here's the relationship. Ta table. That's the table, right? What, 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 what's this name? Right. Now, you have your chips, yeah. the money chips. Yeah. Yeah. You take the money chips and throw it with the money chips. What, is that throw a card game? No, it means... Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give yeah. 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 it all you've got. Yeah. 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 Neighbors will be sweet. Neighbors will be sweet. Right. Onto the other side. Yeah. That gives you five numbers. Arthur. 80, 95, 90, 95, 100. That's 98,400 pounds. And all from Lucky Jack's Casino. Eric must have picked it up by mistake. By mistake? What, can you see Irksome Eric carrying out a daring casino robbery, single-handed? No, you're right. Shall I phone Carlo? Yeah, no. Uh, um, no, no. Uh, we could be implicated. No, no, a little thought, a little planning is necessary. I mean, delicate negotiations could be involved here. Well, we can't keep... No, 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 but neither can we walk in and slam it down on the desk. I mean, questions would be asked. Yeah, maybe there's a reward on offer for it. That's a very good point, Raymond. No, no, I don't think we should be rushed into showing our hand too soon. I think we must uh, consider all our options. But we will be taking it back. Lorna, that is my number one priority. Hi, Dave. Lewis Nelson. Ah, oh, I see your memory is what it was, Dave. Oh, I never forget a face. What can I get you? Oh, nothing, thanks. No, I'm looking for someone. Oh, yeah? Arthur Daly. He's still drinking. Now and again. Why, well, uh, expecting him in today? Oh, difficult to say. I mean, you know Arthur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you don't know where I might find him? Well, not Arthur, I know. But can I give him a message? Oh, he's got something belongs to me. Bag. <laughs> what sort of a bag? Oh, he'll know it when he sees it. Only... I'd like it back. Right. Oh. If I seize him, I'll tell him. You do that, Dave. Place is looking good, Dave. Yeah, well, it's a little hard, eh, you know? You won't forget to tell Arthur, will you? <laughs> no, of course not. Good man. I might send someone round later. See if he's turned up. No, you're sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, I'll just make a few discreet inquiries, find out exactly what we're up against. You've still got the system? All up here. And remember, if they offer a reward, make sure you get it in writing first. Got a very untrusting nature, this boy. And don't forget reds and blacks. Yeah, leave it to me, Lorna. Don't wait up. there, mister. Everything all right, Roger? Good house tonight. Should get back some of the losses from the robbery. The insurance will do that. Where's Joe? Found in sick. Well, you got enough cover? Oh, yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Did you like working for Arthur? I've learned more from him than I ever did at school. He's certainly different. He's that all right. I mean, I know he pulls a few strokes. Who doesn't? Do you know where you stand with him? 
Do you pull a few strokes, Ray? Hello? Is Ray there, please? Hang on. Hello? Oh, Ray? Hello, Dave. Is Arthur there? No, he's not here at the moment, mate. Lewis Nelson's been here. Do you know him? Well, yeah, I know him. Yeah, well, I didn't think nothing of it at the time. No, but there's another geezer here now. He reckons Arthur's got a bag belonging to him. Will he be back soon? I'll tell him. Do you want me to say anything? No, you just sit tight, Dave. I'll call you back later, all right? Oh, Ray, right, yeah, there is something else. Yeah, it's Eric. You know, down a lot, huh? Yeah, well, he clobbered a VAT man over the head with a potty plant. <laughs> and knocked him out cold. All right, I'll tell him that too. Right, well, you take care, Ray. And you, Dave. Cheers. Right in. Yeah, bye. Problem? I don't know. Did you tell Lewis about the money? No, why? How else would he know about it? Well, how could I have done? The bag! What's going on? The money's gone. Arthur must have taken it. But why? Oh, come on, get your coat. Place your bets, please. No bets now. Seventeen. Chips, please. Hi, Ted. Hi. What's going on on number five? Zoom in on that punter, will you? Who is he? Never seen him before. Hello, Pete. Have you got a guest in tonight? Old geezer. Grey hair, dinner suit, smoking a cigar. Check his name, will you? Tim Black. Change, sir? No more beds. Chips, please. What? Oh, no, no, no. No problem. Thanks, Pete. Two black. It's only a question of time, you know. Whose nerve lasts the longest? Two adversaries vying for the attention of Lady Luck. Seven hundred pounds. Place your bets, please. Because it don't come to anyone, you know. You have to show a certain amount of acumen. A willingness to boldly go where no one's gone before. Yeah, I think I think she's telling me definitely. High numbers. No more bets now. Lewis, I think you better get down here. Arthur, what's 
What you doing here? Where's Lorna? She's downstairs. What, here? You're supposed to be protecting her against the perils of gambling, not giving her a guided tour. Look, the money. It's Lewis Nelson's. He stole it from here. You been drinking? No. He did it to get all the money back that Lorna had lost. Now he knows you've got it and he's on his way. He's coming here. Bad. You haven't lost it, have you? No, no, no. You have? What, all of it? No, no, listen, I was a victim of circumstance. I think they've got a little red button under the wheel like they used to have in the Wild West. Oh, come on. What? <laughs> Hang on, there's Lorna. No, 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 leave her. We've done all we can. We're supposed to be keeping her away from all this. Listen, your first priority is my welfare. Make sure nobody bites the hand to feed you. Come on. Arthur? Very surprised to see you here. You cut the flannel, Arthur. Where's the money? Oh, I'm glad you said that. As a matter of fact, we were just on our way over to see you, weren't we, Raymond? Uh, yeah. See, young Ray has acquainted me with the facts, and I felt, as an old and trusted friend, it was my duty to step in and handle proceedings personally. I want the money! No, 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 you don't. You only think you do. Now, look, let's say you kept that money and you got caught, incarcerated as a guest of Her Majesty. What is going to happen to the lovely Lorna? She's a young woman, Lewis. She'd be fair game for every spotty Herbert from here to Peckham. Now, I'm not saying she wouldn't remain yours faithfully, but a young woman alone. Oh. Which is why I took the only course of action open to me. I gave him the money back. No, 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 don't thank me. This was no time to think about my welfare. All I was thinking of was you and Lorna. Lorna? Where is she? Oh, she's up... Upstairs. No, no powdering her nose. She wanted to look her best for you. She, she's, uh, she's in there. I don't believe it. I mean, I saw it, I heard it, but I don't believe it. Reasoned argument, my son. Something you do well to practice. Prevent all those misunderstandings. Oh, I will, Arthur. So what now? Back to work. Back to providing goods and services for the capital's foot soldiers. Do you know, I met a bloke in there tonight who's got a market garden on an old circular. All in all, it's been a very satisfactory evening. I mean, I've saved an old friend from the clutches of the old bill, rescued his marriage, not to mention returning the money to its rightful owner, and I've sold nine dozen begonias into the bargain. There is still one slight problem left. Oh? Uh, yeah. Eric's whacked a vat man with a potted plant. 